Hello, everyone. I'm Mie Shimojima, Associate Professor in Tokyo Tech. Our research interest is plant lipids, especially molecular mechanism of lipid remodeling under phosphate and nitrogen starvation, and production of high value oil or fatty acids in plant vegetative tissues. Today, I quickly introduce one of the findings we obtained previously. All cell membranes consist of a bilayer of polar lipid molecules, lipid bilayer, and associated proteins, although proteins are not indicated in this figure. The polar lipid molecules contain hydrophilic head group and hydrophobic tails, which are fatty acids esterified to the glycerol backbone. If the head group contains phosphorus, it is called phospholipid, but if it contains sugar, glycolipid. Major membrane lipids in mammalian and most of bacterial cells are phospholipids. However, in plants, glycolipids occupy about 50 to 60% of total membrane lipids in leaves as shown in this figure. In glycolipids, galactolipids like MGDG and DGDG containing galactose as a major constituent in the membrane. This lipid composition is a typical composition and is maintained under normal growth conditions, which means under adequate temperature, humidity, enough watering, sufficient nutrients required by plants. However, plants are not, not always grown under normal growth conditions. One of the serious environmental stress is nutrient starvation, such as phosphate or nitrogen starvation. In organic phosphate, designated as PI here, is an essential nutrient for plant growth. However, in organic phosphates, easily form insoluble salts with metal ions in the soil, which is an unavailable form. This is one of the reasons why plants are often suffered from phosphate starvation. Since plants often encounter phosphate starvation stress, plants have many mechanisms to get over the situation. One of the mechanism is a membrane lipid remodeling during phosphate starvation. In plants grown under phosphate starvation, indicated as minus PI here, the amount of phospholipids such as PC and PE decreases and that of galactolipids DGDG increases. This is called lipid remodeling during phosphate starvation. This is a simplified model of lipid remodeling under phosphate starvation. During phosphate starvation, phospholipids are degraded and the produced drug is supplied to plastids, chloroplasts. In plastids, galactolipid synthesis is upregulated up in response to phosphate starvation and a large amount of DGDG is produced using the drug as a substrate. Finally, the produced DGDGs are exported from plastids and substitute for phospholipids, especially PC, in the extra plastidial membranes. In this repeat remodeling, there are two regulatory key steps. One is upregulation of phospholipid degradation, and the other is upregulation of MGDG synthesis. Today's topic is about phospholipid degradation. There are two major pathways for phospholipid PC degradation during phosphate starvation. One of the pathways is mediated by non-specific phospholipase C5 and PC5, 
which directly produces diacylglycerol from phosphatidylcholine PC. The other is a combination of PLD and phosphatidic acid phosphohydrolase designated as PAL. Our research group identified two genes, PAL1 and PAL2, in Arabidopsis plants in 19, 2009 and showed that these are soluble and cytosolic enzymes. We also found that Arabidopsis double knockout mutant PAL1 PAL2 shows severe growth phenotype under host phase starvation compared with viral type. The hypersensitive phenotype of PAL1 PAL2 to host phase starvation explained well that PAL1 and PAL2 are essential enzymes for growth under host phase starvation because they are involved in lipid remodeling under host phase starvation and the release of phosphate from phospholipids. However, during the experiments testing several environmental stresses, we found that PAL1 PAL2 mutant is also hypersensitive to nitrogen starvation stress. Nitrogen is another essential nutrient for plant growth, and it has been suggested that their correlation between host phase starvation response and nitrogen starvation response, yet the molecular mechanism is not fully understood. In PAL1 PAL2 mutant, chlorophyll content and FV by FM, one of the parameters indicating photosynthetic activity, were both markedly reduced, especially under end starvation. To confirm if PAL is directly involved in the hypersensitive phenotype, we also produced PAL1 PAL2 mutants over expressing PAL1 or PAL2, designated as PAL1 OE or PAL2 OE, respectively respectively. As shown here, overexpression of PAL1 or PAL2 recovered severe phenotype of PAL1 PAL2 mutant. They looked healthier than Y type. Indeed, chlorophyll content and photosynthetic activity were higher than those of wild type. From these results, it was suggested that both PAL1 and PAL2 are essential for maintaining chloroplast function during nitrogen starvation. Then we analyzed membrane lipid compositions of these plants under normal or nitrogen depleted conditions. As expected, market difference was observed, especially under nitrogen starvation. Under nitrogen starvation in PAL1 PAL2, the relative amount of chloroplast lipids like MGDG and DGDG became much lower than wild type. In contrast, PAL1 OE and PAL2 OE showed similar membrane lipid composition with wild type. The results indicated that under nitrogen starvation, lack of PAL1 or PAL2 caused significant reduction in the cytochrome membrane lipids such as MGDG, DGDG, SQDG, MPG. To clarify if the absence of PAL might affect the structure of cytochrome membranes, we observed the membrane structure of chloroplasts using electron microscopy. Under normal conditions, the membrane structures were comparable among plants. However, under nitrogen starvation, significant breakdown like this of the cytochrome membranes were only observed in PAL1 PAL2 mutant, which indicates that PAL is involved in the maintenance of cytochrome membranes during nitrogen starvation. 
So here is a summary. We found that power one and power two are essential for growth both under phosphate and nitrogen starvation. Power is involved in chloroplast galactory bed homeostasis, which has a large effect on the structure of photosynthetic membranes and its photosynthetic function under nitrogen starvation. And we also found that a critical regulation of power mediated drug supply from the ER to chloroplast is essential for growth under nitrogen starvation. Now, our results suggested that PAL could be an important enzyme which regulates plant response to phosphate starvation and nitrogen starvation. So we are trying to clarify the regulatory mechanism of PAL mediated membrane lipid homeostasis using other transgenic plants of Arabidopsis and also Machantia. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more about my research, please visit our website from the Tokyo Tech main website. Thank you very much.